Good morning. It is Thursday, December 29, 2016, and we're pleased to bring you today's edition of the local news. Welcome. In the news, after two years, promotions for prison officers. Prison officers need more schooling, says Attorney General. First victims of firework incidents treated at the ER. And the deal with the IMF is not cancelled, says MP Melvin Balva. I'm Dakota Simpson Marshall. The local news begins now. After two years, there have been promotions for the prison officers. Yesterday, at the site of the Santa Balma prison, 96 prison officers were promoted to the next higher rank. In several speeches, the contribution of the prison officers have been mentioned. After the inspection of the troops by the Minister of Justice and Police, Jennifer Van Dijk Silas, the official ceremony began. Several speakers cited that the guards are also contributing to the national security. Therefore, an artist's task is reserved for this group. The director of the prison, Hazard in Nikeri, Carlo Palmtak, the chairman of the Prison Officers' Union, Gustav Galant, Minister of Justice and Police, Jennifer Van Dijk Silas, and the Attorney General, A.G., Roy Premchad Bagnat Pandey all gave a speech. Besides the many commitments, there was also a warning towards the behavior of certain prison officials. The Attorney General, AG, reminded the troops that their promotion comes with more responsibility and that they are expected to be more serious. After the speeches, family, friends, and colleagues were given the opportunity to attach the epaulets to the uniforms of the promoted ranks. The prison officers of the prison in Hazard in the district of Nikeri are next to be promoted. This is scheduled to take place in the Rice District. The Attorney General Roy Premchad Bagnat Pandey argues that prison officers, in addition to their regular training, should get more competence-based training. According to the AG, the aspect of education is important. There is much wrong in the penal, in the penal institutions, and if prison officials are trained, they will gain more knowledge on how to perform their task better. He stressed that sanctions against prison officers will follow if they are caught in wrongdoing. There was a higher number of sexual crimes for the year 2016. This was evident from the reported cases that have been made, says the Attorney General. Due to the lack of technical expertise, certain cases were not able to be solved. The AG further says that because of the lack of qualified personnel, crime could not be addressed adequately in 2016. The AG therefore calls for more money to be budgeted for the Ministry of Justice and Police. Last Tuesday, the first casualties of fireworks accidents were treated at the ER. Two men were brought in for medical treatment. One was sent home after treatment, while the other is still in hospital, says Fosia Puza, head of the emergency department of the academic hospital. Puza called on the public to be more careful with fireworks. It looks harmless, but it's very dangerous. What is remarkable is that this year, fewer fireworks have been imported. Sales, in comparison with previous years, are much more difficult, says Tina Ramdat Tiwari, executive of Liberty Fireworks. Ramdat Tiwari says they have introduced neighborhood packages this year that are much cheaper for clients. She also mentioned the earbuds that the organization Kota International provided for this period. 
However, according to her, the Surinamese people like the noise of the firework festival. The final item for local news today is that Suriname has not cancelled the agreement with the International Monetary Fund, but it has paused it. This is because the conditions of the IMF turned out to be too harsh for some sections of the population. Such is the reaction of the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Melvin Bauva. However, the chairman of the opposition political party, VAP, Chandrikat Prasad Santoki, has a different vision as to the relationship between the IMF and the Surinamese government. Furthermore, both politicians spoke about the decline of the Surinamese economy. Santoki noted that no recovery assurance has been provided by the Deputy Speaker, but the Deputy Speaker does not agree. According to Mr. Bauva, there is a good year ahead of us regarding the recovery of our economy. Expectations for the coming year are large, but on the other side, it remains a challenge for the government to introduce austerity measures the right way. However, President Bautista has made promises to the population that around the end of the first quarter of next year, there should be a positive change. That brings us to the end of local news for today. Join us again tomorrow where we will hear the final local news for 2016. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.